Hey guys, it's Zanny. Today's video is going to be a little bit different in terms of format. Instead of scripting the video, I'm just going to talk freely, so we'll see how that goes. Um, I'm not too good at talking freely. I tend to prefer reading things and talking out loud that way. Um, the only time I'm really good at talking freely is if I'm answering questions. But regardless, I'm going to be talking about whether or not the new cell Parasitic is better than Iceborne. Uh, TLDR, I think it is. Uh, in certain situations. So let's go ahead and read this effect. When you take damage, 20% of it is delayed and instead dealt over 10 seconds. While you take a delayed damage, gain 5% lifesteal. Does not apply to damage under 10% of your max HP. Pretty straightforward. Um, so let's say you take 1000 damage. Um, instead of taking um, that full 1000 damage, you take 800. And then 200 of that is dealt over 10 seconds, so 20 per second. Um, and while you're taking damage, you gain lifesteal. Um, which means theoretically you could outheal the 200 damage that you're taking and in fact overheal which makes it situationally better than iceborne because instead of taking uh trying to think of a, of a good example instead of taking all that damage but reduced you take that damage reduced but in a different way the mitigation is different something that might one shot you with iceborne won't one shot you with parasitic but it'll deal a lot of damage which in some instances can make Parasitic better than Iceborne, but I think Iceborne situationally is better for its consistency, because as long as you're below half health, you'll gain lifesteal. Um, Parasitic is good in that regard, because you don't have to run Discipline or a low life build to get the most out of its lifesteal. And in fact, you can amplify that lifesteal by using something like Tough, uh, which increases your healing from all sources, so not bad. I actually think Parasitic is a really good introduction to the game, uh, as far as cells go, just because it's a form of damage reduction that's not toxic, it's not flat damage reduction, and you don't need plus 6 to get the most out of it. Because even at plus 3, 20% of mitigated damage is very respectable. And at plus 6, it's almost 40%, which is 5% more than uh, Iceborne at 30%. Um, I don't know why I said 40, but pretty good, pretty respectable. The lifesteal, you know, with, uh, what's it called, tough, goes up to what, like 7.5? So definitely not bad. That's just below Iceborne, I think, at 8%. The thing I like about Parasitic is that it kind of encourages running a full life build. Um, Parasitic is actually, I think, more forgiving for newer players than Iceborne is, just because you get to operate with 100% um, more health uh, if you're running tough, which is a big deal. That means that initial escalation runs with power boost zero are going to be a lot less punishing and that your tonics have more value because they're healing you for more as well, as well as other sources. So I'm going to quickly go over my build real quick. So running the Malk Sword with Arden Cyclone Recursive Hilt bonded with the Stormclaw Sword. Not too bad. Armor and cell slots are meant to give me the best possible options. Using the Drask Lantern, because in Ardent Cyclone we don't really need attack speed, we just need that raw damage. Um, but you can use whatever you want. Catalyst makes our potions very strong. Cunning gives us crit chance and crit damage. The crit damage is probably the most important part. Uh, this escalation has a lot of amps that focus around dealing crits, so definitely worth picking up. Rage Hunter increases our damage against Rage Behemoths. Uh, not terrible. Normally I would run um, Overpower in place of Rage Hunter, but the problem is, is that Agaris doesn't really have too many stages where he's vulnerable to Overpower. Um, and more often than not, he's enraged, so I tend to run Rage Hunter instead. Uh, Tenacious gives us damage for every 100 health... Uh, <laughs> Apologies. Tenacious gives us 100 health for every... Uh, or 2% damage for every 100 health. God, I can't talk. I'm leaving that in the video, fuck it, why not? Um, this stacks really well with tough. Uh, just because that extra 500 health is going to give you, what, 10% more damage? So you'll be dealing... God, what's the number? 30% more damage? It's going to be like 32% more damage or something like that with tough, which is not something to laugh at, especially since that'll be active right off the bat. Uh, just like rage, honestly. And then tough. Tough gives us some more health and more healing. Always useful, and I've already talked about Parasitic. So I'm going to go ahead and cut away from this and showcase a run without a whole lot of commentary. But 
Thank you guys for watching. I do appreciate you checking out the video. And if you want to see Parasitic in action, then enjoy.